Hello everybody, my name is Anthony, and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron Force, United States of America. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So the Commonwealth has capitulated, but there's still like thousands and thousands of European troops on our soil. How are we going to deal with that? I don't know, because we only have, let's look at these numbers, uh, 68 divisions to 520. There's a bit of a power imbalance there, I will admit. Um... Have they been killing a lot of our troops? No, for the most part, we've actually been doing pretty alright. I'm assuming a lot of these guys that have been killed have actually just been sunk by our convoys. I mean, the American Navy still exists. The Commonwealth Navy still exists. Okay, you guys... Everybody... Everybody's convoy raiding today. Fine. And I guess we can't really fight the carriers? I don't know. They're almost at Atlanta too. Will we capitulate? Um, 75%? Probably not. But we're in also like a situation too. It's like we can't attack anybody through this list. Or else they are just going to join the... Um... The Warsaw Pact. And Utah also is part of the Democratic League with Canada. That's not helping us out at all. It's like, if you guys could just deploy, like, a little bit faster. I don't even need a battle plan. If you could just, like, deploy a little bit faster, maybe we can take Providence and just try to shut them off a little bit. At least I can maybe contain them on the front line. Can we break this troop out? Maybe here? Maybe? I mean, we're engaging them, but apparently they just didn't feel like taking this one province. I don't know why. And they did take Atlanta. That is an issue. But, um, 11 divisions are in the middle? No. Everybody be here. Nobody goes into that. Oh, the airfield! Oh, get them out of the airfield. Put them into a Louisiana. Get the planes out of there. If you possibly can. This tank might just be dead. Can you go to Washington? I feel like that's going to be at least an easier place to defend than where you currently are located. Okay, so they have cut us off in half again. They might take back New England. I'm not too sure. I'm really surprised that the American Navy is still around. Really, they just have a navy. They only have four divisions, and those divisions, I don't think, are going to pose too much of a threat. Like, Canada, how many troops do you have? You have 65 uh, brigades. You would double our army size. Same with the British. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn? If you want to help me out here, that would be great. Like, you've already sent me four divisions. I don't know how many divisions you sent me. We're losing a lot of points per day. A lot of points per day. We're still only on limited conscription. Like, we haven't even gone up to, like, search by requirements. Because we really, we can't. 0.7, Flight of the Executives, Christian Nation. Generic Religious Leader. Mastermind. So I think we're just permanently never going to be able to change those laws again. It might just be an impossibility at this point. I'm just not sure. I feel like we've at least contained these guys somewhat. I think they're actually they're slowly retreating out of Boston. And I'm slowly trying to cover the entirety of the border. It's not working out so hot. Have they landed any troops in like Houston? No. So Texas is safe. Germany's annexed like the entirety of the southern United States, but that's fine. Don't worry too much about that. See if maybe we can at least kind of cut them off. 
Because right now, it does seem like, on at least on the blue area, they are... So let's see if we can... Oh no, I don't want to do that. Let's see if we can at least maybe take back Atlanta. Maybe? I mean, we got a tank into Washington, D.C., so I mean, that's an accomplishment? Maybe? I mean, our troops are also spread pretty thin. Are you guys ready to deploy yet? You are not. You are at... Target location invalid. Okay, that's fair. Just one line. Deploy the troops. 11 plus 15 is 26. So we can just put them on the cells, just so we can maybe close this line a little bit. Oh, you guys actually got stuck. And they're trying to push their way out. And I want the purple or the light pink troops to get down south as far as po as fast as possible. Also, as far as possible, that would also definitely be uh, useful. Okay, now get him out of Boston. No, they're actually sending more troops to Boston. That doesn't really seem like it makes a lot of sense. To me, at least, but what do I know? You approach Bryn. Bryn, let me join your faction. Please? Okay, so these, these are not going to do anything for us. Plus 25 opinion bonus is not worth anything. So we've got the recognition of a failed state. Awesome. Really helped us out there. So what I can still do is I can just get all the CBs. And then try to negotiate territory. Do I still need to conquer everything to get this? It doesn't actually seem like it. I mean, we got cores. No longer a core of the Midwest. I'm gonna do- I'm just gonna go through this entire list, because it doesn't even seem like I need to annex the territory. And if I don't need to annex the territory to become the United States again, then that's probably the best option we have. Maybe? <laughs> I'm really, like, not too sure. I really feel like everybody here can just push to the coast and it should be fine. This is still considered part of Michigan, so I don't know. Not too sure at all about how that's going to work out. Push away to Atlanta, troops. I believe in the men. They're about to take over all of Florida, but that's... that's It's just Florida. Not a huge concern of ours. All of you get to where you need to be. Operation, whatever the hell this is, is, is completely um, going this smoothly. We don't have Chromium at all. Congo, South Africa, India, PRC. Who can I trade with right now? Anybody? India, maybe? Because it's definitely not going through Turkey. So Turkey, I'm going to cancel our trade agreements. Because I think from India, it's going through the Pacific up through the Panama Canal, so we probably are a little bit safer there in our investment. I, you know, it's a big asterisk. It's a, it's a very much a probably. Uh, no, we're also 30%. Wait, which way are they? They're coming through... India? Like, do you... The Pacific Ocean exists! It's faster this way, and also you're not gonna get sunk. You silly gooses? I can't believe you've done this to me. Okay, kill these French troops. Kill the troops down here. We can actually redeploy some of our men. Like, we desperately need the manpower. So I'm assuming that the pink army... 
once these French troops are dealt with, we're going to redeploy to the south automatically. We got the better encryption, though, so that is fantastic. Spinning onto rockets. No, I don't think we need that. We don't even need air. We just need... You're halfway done. Artillery? 281 days. Support battalions. What one are you, 2018 for the next upgrade of you? Really, because I can't, I can't really afford to build new shit right now either. So, you know what, let's get rocket artillery, because why not? It's like, I know we have low manpower. I got no clue how to, um... Yeah, so the entire pink army I want deployed. Oh, well, shit. Um... Blue, I want deployed here. Pink, I want a fallback line in Little Rock for now. So all of you get out of there, because that's clearly not working. La Florida, and whatever state this is, Alabama. I'm going to just consider it a lost cause for the moment. At some point, I would like to think, yeah, we can make progress here. But until that moment, uh, abandon it. Abandon ship. Okay, so yellow, I want you all to deploy down south now. Let's see if there's any, you know, just any little territory we can just kind of push in and kind of contain them as much as possible. Actually, you know what? Yellow, what you can do, or pink, I should say. Guard forward, slow resistance. No, you are just going to get guard naval bases in all of our coastal territories to make sure that hopefully they don't try to um land anywhere else for now 11 divisions if i need to guard coastline it's gonna be 31 so what whole victory points 17 okay that that's your job for now okay uh pink so go to where you need to be try to make sure that there's just no more naval invasions and i lose everything that would be uh, splendid. The African Union has been established. Good work, um, Africa. Do all of you want to unite with me against the Soviets? No? Okay, then. Do any of you guys have, like, level ups? Like, I have 500... I have 100 points. I, will, I would like to use those. Yeah, so right now, if... Yellow would like to deploy down there as fast as humanly possible. We can actually get a surround over here if I take back Philadelphia. I can take over this province. There's even just surrounding a handful of troops. Oh, well, I kind of screwed that one up. Admittedly so. They really don't know what they're trying to do, do they? No. All the, how many men have I lost? I am... Um, I mean, they've actually... I've actually inflicted a lot of casualties. 112,000 French troops have died. Again, I'm assuming... I think I'm sinking a lot of their convoys. Yeah, look at all these convoys in the bottom that I've been sunk, sinking of them. So imagine if I wasn't doing that. How much worse my situation would be. Do I have any more ships? No. Do they even... Where do they even deploy right now? Do they deploy anywhere? No foul. What's wrong with, what's wrong with Texas? The point in Texas. Ready, Naval base three. Where were they all before? Click. They might all just be fighting to the death now and have no supplies. Which would be kind of bad for them, I admit. So now that yellow's coming in here and they're like somewhat full force, I'm going to cut down the blue line to here. 
So if blue, you just want to uh, reposition your troops down to where they should be. Yellow, I want you to engage this one Soviet troop. That's definitely making progress where he should not be making progress. Are you the one that's like really... You're, okay, I want to actually train you. But not enough that I actually have no manpower. So like 12 divisions is fine. Actually, I want 10 divisions so I can actually fill up the rest of purple. And you will deploy somewhere. Um, you're not able to deploy anywhere, huh? Why not? Well, your colony states are they? Are they all colony states? Why can I not deploy troops? I don't know. I have no clue whatsoever why I'm not allowed to do that right now. Why are you actually losing this fight? You have no supplies. We have no supplies up here? Okay, well... Got the bad bad news bears, but... Apparently the L army also doesn't even want to deploy down there. Okay, let's, let's see if we can maybe make something happen. Apparently, I also have, like, no information on how many troops there are. But I did take Atlanta. So if we can actually push our way out of Atlanta, we should be able to resupply all our troops. And just hold on to the territory. If all goes well, that is. If everything goes badly, then we're just kind of screwed, but... I feel like that was kind of obvious. Okay, they took back Washington, D.C. Uh, that's not great for us, but... Could be worse? Question mark, question mark, question mark. So they have a lot of troops right there defending. Okay, let's see if we can actually uh, close this area off. To surround these troops a little bit. I'm gonna keep fighting until we actually lose, because all well, right now we have like no factories either, but don't worry about that. Just keep building submarines, I guess. Yeah, they just don't want to move because there's no supplies. The Canadian and British troops also are just, like, not moving at all. Oh, no, this one troop from Philly. I want you back here. I cannot lose troops transporting them around. Nobody goes into the ocean. It's an extremely scary place right now. Actually, if I go here, that should actually... Also connect this to Atlanta and hopefully get us some supplies that we desperately need. But the, the north's going to get kind of cut off right now, which is also not great. We can also go take, take Pittsburgh. Yeah, and then you try to connect Pittsburgh to at least to the north. Yeah, you're just like not going to the front line where you should be. These guys are completely surrounded. It really is just a mess. Okay, this guy should actually fall at least somewhat faster than everybody else. Really, nobody is... Nobody is happy to be here right now. We got Atlanta back. Which means, boom, everything is completely within supply range now. Because I think we're technically transporting things over the uh, Lake Erie. For some reason. So that's fine. Um, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. See, the game's logic is kind of broken because it considers this to be a land province. So the AI is kind of trying to march its way through. Even though that obviously will not work. And I don't know why it's like that. Are these troops ready to deploy yet? Okay, um, I'm guessing because there wasn't there was enough supplies in the capital to do it. 
Maybe? I'm really not too sure. But this is going to be the end of this video, so thanks for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you're not enjoyed, give us a thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.